Think like a scientist, think like a scientist, rule that lab, rule that lab. Think like a scientist, think like a scientist, put the process in your head. You think it's methodological way, observe, observe, observe the world. Take notes and record all the things that you found. Form a hypothesis or make a prediction, do a test or experimentation, analyze data and make a conclusion. Think like a scientist, think like a scientist, rule that lab, rule that lab. Think like a scientist, think like a scientist, put the process in your head, break it down. Scientific method is a process for experimentation that is used to explore observations and answer questions. The following are the steps for scientific method. Make observation, identify the problem, formulate a hypothesis, perform an experiment, draw a conclusion, and identify whether your conclusion is a theory or a law. Hello everyone! It's experiment time! Alright, I'm Argan Arli, Miss G over here. Let's start! Are we ready for the experiment? Alright, so in this experiment, you're going to answer the question... Can water start the fire? Write your answer on your worksheet. Write your hypothesis. What do you think? All right, so for the materials, we have the following. Ammonium nitrate, zinc, ammonium chloride, or you can have iodized salt, then hydrochloric acid solution. What else do we have, Miss D? We have here the mortar and pestle. We have water. Mm -hmm. We have the scapula or the scapula. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have the pipette. All right. And don't forget. Yes, safety. goggles. Yeah, safety precautionary measures should be observed in this activity. Wear your proper protective covering. Goggles. Gloves. Hmm. Mask. Yes. And do not forget that the substances that we're going to use today are all dangerous. So watch out. All right, do not forget that you're going to conduct this experiment in a well-ventilated room. Example, chemistry lab. Mm -hmm. When you perform an experiment, think, think like, like a, a scientist. scientist. Follow the steps of scientific method. Correct. Who what to do? First of all, you're going to have to prepare your evaporating dish, your mortar and pistol, and six grams of ammonium nitrate. So we were gonna mix ammonium nitrate and before you mix it, you're gonna have to pound it and then mix zinc dust. How much zinc dust we need? We just need three grams for this. And this is three grams. Blend them. Add a little salt, and this time what we use is ammonium chloride. Blend again. We're gonna get this. We'll add a little water for this mixture is over here. Mm -hmm. So can this water start a fire? Let's find out of zinc dust, ammonium chloride, and of course ammonium nitrate. And the most important one, water! 